It's cultural. It's educational. It's promotional. It's thoughts and teens in focus and Guyana thoughts and teens. With youths of the community and how can the community help her youths? Your host is Patricia Trim, CEO founder of Thoughts and Teens in Focus and Circle of Dynamic Women of Power, meeting your needs in the community. of thoughts and things in focus well today our topic will be about the symbols of Easter you know it's Easter you know they have the crucifixion you know they have the uh, uh, Easter Saturday Easter Sunday and also we have Easter Monday too so we be talking about all the symbols of Easter and what it represents um, for the crucifixion of Christ so let's start up about Easter. The welcome to the world of Easter Bunny. The eggs, the lambs, the cross, Easter symbols, and more. Easter celebrates the resurrection of Jesus, but it also associates with popular symbols such as eggs, could you believe it? Candy, bunnies, and food. Here we have a meticulously listed all the icons and the symbols associated with Easter. Learn and share religious Easter symbols image with your friends. And to you, mommy and daddy, to you and how to enjoy your Easter so you can share the story too. Happy Easter symbols, Easter eggs and baby chickens. Eggs and chicks symbolize new life. Eggs have been a symbol of spring since ancient times. An egg also is a symbol of rock, tomb out of which Christ emerged when he rose again. The chick hatching out of the egg symbolize new life or rebirth, new life in Christ. You know, um, we always use eggs for the eggs. Eggs or they have the chocolate, you know, um, in school. Back in the days, they have one chocolate and they put that chocolate. Everybody got to go around searching for that chocolate. You know, you want to eat that chocolate. And it is just, it's put one chocolate, <laughs> one wrong chocolate egg. So you always want to see that egg. So that is the same egg symbolizing, well, the eggs have chocolate inside. But then the, the, the eggs of a chicken has chicken side that symbolize new life. There's where the chick pick, him, pick itself out of the shell and come to life. Easter Bunny. Now we have Easter Bunny. We always love Easter Bunny because they're bouncing all over the place. The rabbit or hare has a symbol of abundant new life in ancient times. And remind us of spring and new life. Easter Bunny. You always got to see the Easter Bunny dancing. <laughs> yes, and then we have Easter lilies. You know the lilies that grow by the corner? There is where beautiful colors, yellow, red, um, purple, 
white, but I know it used to be white lilies, but all of a sudden I see different colors of lilies. So the white blossom symbolizes purity of Jesus. Lilies emerging from the earth in the spring also symbolize new life and the resurrection of Christ. All about Easter lilies. So when you see the lilies, just know that that represents Christ and his new life because they come up from the earth. The Lamb represents Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. Remember the Lamb, lead the Lamb to be slaughtered. So Jesus was meek as the Lamb. He walked with his cross and be a proud person to take his cross with him. The cross symbolized Jesus' victory over death. Victory over that so that we may not have to worry. We have eternal life indeed. Victory over death, the cross represents. So when you see the cross, just remember, Jesus died on the cross. The Bible says so. Then we have Palm. Palm. You know you have Palm Sunday. You go to church and you get your palm, your little palm. The palm branches represent when Jesus arrived. We sing, sing Hosanna to the highest in Jerusalem on the first Palm Sunday and people wave palm branches welcoming him into thing. You know, in, in, in churches, without the COVID, churches will go wrong the block with the palms and the sing, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. So yes, that's what they use the branches for. So there are many symbols for the one week of Jesus' crucifixion from the time he is to be crucified after the, uh, he, he gave them the bread. The wine he said, drink this in remember of me. This is my, 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 my blood that will shed for you. This is my body that will be broken for you. This is my body. Eat it and remember me. And then we have Jesus. You know, but after that, all little girls love the little, Chris, the little Easter hats. You make Easter hats in many ways, many, many anyhow. You make Easter hats and um, e you Easter hats and wearing new clothing for Easter symbolize new life, new life because it, the winter is finished. Some countries don't have the winter, but they still celebrate the Easter, offered through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because you know that is the most on Good Friday we go, could you go to church? And you have to stay in there about two or three hours in church. You cannot eat nothing before you go to church. When you come back home, then you will have your cross buns. You know, you have to get cross buns. Every home be cross buns. And every home had the symbols of the cross buns. So you will eat your cross buns, right? You will eat your cross buns and drink your milk. That is Good Friday meals. But sometimes people change it up in all the... They will eat food or something, but um, you, you eat your cross once and you're meat. <laughs> and then um, the hot cross buns, you know, we used to say hot cross buns, hot cross bun, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross bun, something with the old man, something, something, something. Can't remember it. Hot cross buns have a cross of ice name on the top to remind people of Christ was crucified on the cross. So when you're eating the cross, well, just remember, it's a symbol that reminds you of Jesus on the cross. And then you have the candles. Jesus is the, the light of the world. And because he's the light of the world, we symbolize a candle. Every time you light a candle, just know that is Jesus, the light of the world. He shine. Don't, don't hide your, your, your candle under the bushels. Let it shine, let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Then this is a new one, the, the pretzels, a food eaten during Lent. See, twisted, shaped it, symbol, arms, cross in prayer. This is a new one, I never knew this. <laughs> yeah, so the the, the pretzels is, is a symbol of, um, the crossing of the hands, the praying, the praying bread. Easter and spring flowers, daffodils and tulip, tulips bloom 
in the spring and symbolize spring and new life. New life in Christ. That's what is the symbol of the flowers. You see the nice daffodils that springs up on the road? That is representing new life in Christ because up from the victory arose, up from the gravy arose, you know, up from the earth they arose. Then we have baby animals. Baby animals born in the spring also represent spring and new life. So if you get your baby in spring, that's new life. <laughs> that's a new life, baby animals. Babies too can be born in spring and risen in spring so that they can represent um, new life. Then we have the butterfly. It's one of the significant symbols of Easter. Its whole life cycle is meant to symbolize the life of Jesus Christ. The first stage is the caterpillar. You know when we see a caterpillar, we try to kill the caterpillar? Mm-hmm. Don't kill the caterpillar, you're killing Jesus. <laughs> and which stands for his life on earth. Second phase begins with the cocoon. And as a small child, you see the cocoon, the butterfly, find the country, you want to, you're trying to kill it because you want to come out more fast, right? And then you will see there, you know, you leave it there and then you come back afterwards, the next day, the butterfly gone. Or you may see the butterfly just flying. The caterpillar, which stands for his life on earth. Second phase begins from the cocoon stage, portraying the crucifixion, yep, and burial of Jesus, yep. The third and final stage is the butterfly representing his rising from the dead in a glorified body and peace. What a beautiful thing to know that Jesus, all these symbols that they have that we take for granted, is representing the birth, the the death, the death and life of the life and death of um, Jesus Christ. So, when you're celebrating your Easter tomorrow, you're eating your cross, well, just remember it represents Jesus. What you what you be eating and you're wearing is new life in Christ. So enjoy your Easter. Have a happy Easter. Have a happy Easter Sunday. Your basket is full of chocolates and goodies. Don't, don't, don't eat too much. Leave back some for the next day. And enjoy your Easter. Those who are flying kites in the Caribbean islands, they'll be flying their kites on Easter Monday. That's another story where they will be all dressed up with the Easter clothes, with the new clothes. I'm going out there to fly the kites with a picnic basket. That's a picnic. And they fly the kites to the wind because Christ is in the air. The wind is flying. So it's all a big celebration for Easter and the symbols of it that represent the Christ crucifixion and the resurrection and the resurrection of Christ. So when you enjoy your Easter, just remember your Easter is there for a reason that you can celebrate and enjoy your beautiful Easter. Thank you all for listening, and I do hope, I wish you all a happy Easter, happy, happy Easter, enjoy your Easter, enjoy your, your cross buns, and just have fun on, on church on Sunday if you get to go to church. If not, be in the yard, tune into your television to listen to the church and listen to the words that is coming, because we all want to go to church on, 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 um, on Sunday, but it's, it's a chance, and it's a chance that no one wants to take because no one wants to get COVID, no one wants to die. So it's a chance. So be better be, be safe than sorry because I know that some people may jump out and say, I'm going to, to church. We all want to go to church, but we never know what is lying there in the church. So from Thoughts and Teens, I say, Happy Easter to all you friends. Happy Easter. Enjoy your Easter and enjoy your day. Welcome to Thoughts and Teens in Focus. I'm your host, Patricia Trim. Welcome you to another edition of Thoughts and Teens in Focus. Well, my talk today will be about women because women are extraordinary women. Women are 
great women of esteem. Women are mothers, they are sisters, they are aunts, they are grandma. Women carry the load of their children. Every great man have a great woman behind him. A woman can organize can create and can bring forth. That's what great women are. Great mothers, great sisters, great friends, great relatives. Great women are the ones who make the first move to make a difference. Great women are women who say, Yes, when everyone else say no. Great women are women who put their voice out there and speak up when men will not. Great women give the greatest encouragement to the community, to the city, to organization. Great women form great organization to make it a masterpiece that everyone can follow. Great women stand up for their rights and hold on <laughs> for their rights for their dear life. Great women are not afraid to open their mouth. They speak up to anyone Great women are not afraid of any situation. They stand up to bullies. They stand up to gangsters. They stand up to the law. When the law is wrong, great women speak about it. When the law is not fair, great women speak about it. <clears throat> when the law <clears throat> mystery the community great women form the delegation and speak up great women such as we have one now in the white house camilla harris hillary clinton they were all <laughs>